Today I will show you how to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. But first, let's go over what a fraction is. Here's an example of a fraction. Three-fourths. The number on top is called the numerator. The numerator. The numerator tells us the number of parts of a whole or the numbers that are being counted or that we have. The number on the bottom is called a denominator. Denominator. A denominator is the total number of parts in a whole. So again, the numerator, the number of parts that are being counted, and the denominator are the total number of parts in a whole. So three fourths. So since the denominator tells us we have four pieces in total in the whole, I will draw four pieces. One, two, three, four. And the numerator tells us how many uh, we have. So that's three two, three. So this is how you show three fourths. It is important to note that fractions have equal parts, equal parts. For example, this is your whole then this can be equal parts. One, two equal parts. Or let's say there's this heart as a whole, equal parts. Or let's say here's a triangle, equal parts. These are some examples of not equal parts. These two pieces are not equal, so this does not work. Or one, two, three, four parts in this hole, but they're not equal size. So remember, fractions must have equal parts, okay? So last year when we were in fourth grade, we learned how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Like meaning same. So for example, let's say that we're having a pizza party and I eat one fourth of the pizza. And let's say that Westland, you eat two fourths of the pizza. How much pizza did we eat in all? in all, right? So let's see. Here's the pizza. And I can see that they're like denominators here. Denominators are the same. So we have four pieces of pizza total in the whole, in the whole pizza. And Wesleyan, I ate one. And then you ate two pieces. So how many pieces did we eat? We ate one, two, three. One, two, three, right? And how many pieces of pizza are there still in the whole? One, two, three, four. So just like we learned last year, when the denominators are like or same, they're the same, it remains the same. We don't go four plus four is eight because there's still one, two, three, four pieces of pizza in the whole it doesn't suddenly become eight pieces. But remember the numerator does change because I ate one and then you also ate two, so we ate three together. So the numerators we do add. Now, since we're in fifth grade, we're going to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators, unlike. Unlike means not, 
the same or different, basically. So for example, let's see that we have one third plus one half. Do you see how the denominators of three and the two are different? They're unlike, they're not the same, right? So if you do one plus one is two, the numerator, and then you add the denominators, that's not how it works. And remember, we cannot just add the denominators if they're not the same. So this is what you have to do. First, circle the denominators like I did, the three and the two. Then make a list of multiples for three and two. So let's start with three. Start with three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Now let's make a list of multiples for two. Start with two, four, six, eight, ten. So then after we make the list, what we're going to do is we're going to see if there's a number that's in common in both lists. So it's a number that's in the three list and a number that's in the two list. Let's say the three. No, the three is not in here. The six, oh, the six is in common. So I'm gonna focus on my number six. So after you find the common multiple, the one that's same in both lists, now you have to write these fractions over so they have the same denominators. We're going to rewrite these fractions so they have the same denominator. So let's start with one third. So since one third had a three as a denominator, we're gonna go to the three list. Go like this, one, two. One, two. It took me one, two jumps to get to the six. So then I'm going to multiply my one third by two, two halves. So one times two is two, three times two is six. So my new fraction, my rewritten fraction from one third is two sixths. So I changed one third to two sixths. They're equivalent fractions. I just changed the denominator. So since I'm done with one third, let's try one half now. Just like with the three, the list of threes, I'm gonna go to my list of twos because this fraction one half has a two on the bottom. So I'm gonna count one, two, three. One, two, three. It took me three jumps to get to six for my list of twos. So for this one, I'm going to multiply by three thirds. One times three is three. Two times three is six, three sixths. So I rewrote my fraction one half. I rewrote it as the equivalent fraction, which is three sixths. So do you see now how two sixths and three sixths have the same denominator? So now I can add. I can go two sixths plus three sixths is two plus three is five. And remember, when the denominators are the same, they do not change. So six. So my final answer is five sixths. So before, when I had two fractions with unlike denominators, one third plus one half, I couldn't add them together because the three and the two are not the same. So what I did was I made a list of multiples 
and then I change these fractions into an equivalent fraction. So they have the same denominator. Now I can add. Here's an example from the math assignment. Over the weekend, Eleni ate one fourth, oops, one fourth box of cereal. And Freddie ate three eighths of the same box. What portion of the box of cereal did they eat at all? So what we're doing is we are adding the two fractions, right? Okay. So one fourth plus three eighths. Just like we just learned, the denominators are unlike, they're different. So we cannot do four plus eight right now. So we have to change that. So I'm going to make a list of multiples. Make a list of four. And make a list of eight. I'll start with four. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Now I'm going to make a list of eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. So now let's look at the list of fours and the list of multiples of eight and find the one that's in common, the same. So let's see. Okay, here it is, the eight. The eight is the common multiple. So we're going to change the denominators of one fourth and three eighths into eight. Let's start with one fourth. Go to my list of fourths and go one, two, one, two. I had to jump two times to get to the eight. So I multiply by two. I rewrote one fourth as an equivalent fraction, two eighths. Let's do the same thing with three eighths now. One, one. So I'm just gonna multiply by one. Three times one is three. Eight times one is eight. Do you notice that three eighths changed to basically three eighths? It didn't change. That's because our common multiple was eight. So we were trying to change our denominators to eight and three eighths already had a denominator of eight. So when this happens, you don't have to change that one. I just wanted to show you. So now we can add these together. Two eighths plus three eighths. Two plus three, the numerator is two plus three is five. Denominators, remember if they're the same, they do not change. So eight plus eight, we're just gonna leave it as eight, the parts of the whole, the total parts of the whole. So my answer is five eighths. One fourth plus three eighths is five you can do the same thing with a subtraction problem so i've shown you addition so far you can do the same thing with a subtraction problem so for example let's say rose bought a length of copper pipe she used half of a yard to repair the shower. How much pipe does she have left? So keywords, left. She used, remember you're, when you're using something, it goes away. So here it says that she has four sixths. But she used one half of a yard to fix her shower. So just like before, we can see that the denominators are not the same, so we need to make a list. Six, two. Six, 
12, 18, 24, 30. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I made a list of six, I made a list of twos. If you make a list and there is no common multiple, then just keep going. You can keep going. But usually something should come up soon, right? So here's a list of six. Here's a list of two, the multiples. Let's see which one's in common. So I see that the six is in common. So I'm gonna change my denominators to six. So here's my first fraction, and my second fraction is one half, four, six, and one half. Remember, we're changing it to six, so I don't have to change this. I can just leave it. But just to show you how to do it, remember, go to the list of six and go one. One. It took me one jump to get to the six. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by one, and I get four sixths. So now for one half, though, the numerator, the denominator is not six. So I'm going to go to my list of two and go one, two, three. One, two, three. So I multiply my numerator and my denominator by three. So one times three is three. Two times three is six. Three sixths. So I have four sixths and three sixths. So remember before we added, but in this problem, it's asking us to subtract. That's the only different step between addition and subtraction. So we are gonna take our new fractions, five, four sixths, four sixths, and three sixths, and subtract them. So just like with addition, the parts of the whole, the total, it doesn't change. Total number does not change. So we're not gonna do six minus six is zero. We're just gonna do six because um, these are like denominators and the total number in a whole does not change, the total number of parts. But we can subtract the numerator. So four minus three, one. So my answer is one sixth. So four sixths minus one half is one sixth. 